So hello guys, welcome back. This is Virendra Kumar. So in this uh, video session, I am going to discuss about the organization in the Azure DevOps series. So on my screen, you can see that the what's the organization in the Azure DevOps and why we need the organization in the Azure DevOps. If you are going to prepare the learning series for the Azure DevOps CI/CD pipelines, then you should aware about the organization creation part. If you know how to create the organization and what are all the settings related to the organization, you can handle the related project under this organization. So this is the first step to be learned or uh, to start the learning of the Azure DevOps. So I'm going to explain each and everything. So please watch this video completely to understand the organization. on my screen you can see the what's an organization an organization in the azure devops is a way or it's the mechanism for organizing and connecting the group of related project we have the multiple project supports uh, project 1 project 2 and project 3 we have and we all are working on this project project 1 is the automation project Project two is the BDD Cucumber automation project, and project three is the DevOps project. And all projects are working with the different team, but into the one organization. Okay, so we want to group these projects at the one place. So for that, we have the one organization. So organization will be the one, and under the one organization, you can create. and number of the project and you can relate this project to each other okay so this is the simple definition of the organization it's the way of organizing and connecting the group of related project now the second thing is, is how many organizations we need if you are working with the azure devops then definitely someone will ask you how many organization you need to start working with the azure devops so start with one organization in azure devops at least one organization we need if we want to work with the azure devops and then we can start adding the more organizations so when first time you are going to sign up with the azure devops it will pop up the organization creation window so you need to create one organization i will show on my screen now these are the steps to create an organizations so first you need to sign in to azure devops you don't if you don't know how to sign in process is done for the azure devops i have done a one video for this separately i will provide the link in the description so you can go and watch the signing process for the azure devops after that you select the new organization okay then confirm information and then select the continue okay this i am going to show on my system then you can understand easily so on my browser this is the dev.azure.com okay this is the uh, sign in i have sign in to dev.azure.com this is azure devops looks like this okay when i, I was signing then i it was asking to create one organization so for that i have create one organization after that i can create a number of the organization under this user so this is the valid user for which i have logged in okay now if you want to create a new organization you can see the new organization tab on the left side of this azure devops part so you just click on this one and when you are going to sign in or when you done with the signing process with azure devops so that you will get this window automatically okay so the azure devops will ask you to create the organizations i'm going to start with the azure devops and then i will click on continue button now it will ask me the organization name so you can provide the organization say name what you want like it's the custom organization name so i will say the demo org name okay so this is the demo organizations okay i am providing this one and 
we will host your project in the south india so it will ask you the time zones okay so on where it is going to uh, host the projects okay because this is the cloud process and in the cloud it will ask you the region so if you are from the india i'm going to select the south india if you are from the us central us east so you can select your region okay and then if this is already taken you can provide the number also with the organization name okay and okay now so you try with given the organization name it's not already taken by someone else okay so you try with the different name you can select the project where you are going to host uh, this organization now enter the characteristics you see okay so this is the kcha verification so you need to provide this validation then click on continue it will taking you to azure devops organization please wait it will take few seconds to create the organization okay okay so now on the left side you can see the demo org 1230 is created so this is the one organization and for this organization you can start creating the project that we will cover into the next video but here i am going to show about the organization so demo org this is the name of the organizations now we need sometimes to change the organization name we need to add the users we need the permissions for this organization these settings how we can control for this organization so for that you can come down and you can see the organization level setting so here it will select in the sky blue color that means this organization is selected if you click on this one that means this organization is selected so whatever organization is in front of you it will come on the top so now we have created this organization it will come on the top now we want to change the setting so we will go to the organization part so it will open the settings page so this part is very important so understand one by one so first how to rename the organization so from here you can change the organization name so rename so you can rename the organization okay use the new url so if next time when you want to access directly with this organizations it will give you the url okay if you want if you don't want this url to be shared you can switch off and you can just save if you want this url you can switch on this check box okay but i will recommend you should use this url so what i'm going to do i'm going to cancel this setting privacy url privacy url means if you have any custom data url so that url you can provide here okay whatever data privacy related url if you have uh, related to this organization so you can provide the link or the url for that here it, it is a very confidential okay description so you can provide this uh, organization support this org for testing testing projects or you can provide the descriptions whatever you have in your organizations now how to change the time zones so from there you can select the time zones if you you should know about your time zone settings so you can select the time zones and you can choose the time zones now region so uh, the country region or the and the global wise and this the locations you can select from here during the creation of the organization so i have selected the south india that is showing the south india now you can save all these changes so i have changed the organization name so changing your organization name have several side effects so please read the following before you proceed so will be not redirect 
so all these current name and the retype new organization name and i am understand this is the organization name okay and you can provide and you can save it so you you, ne you need to retype the new organization name demo org 1230 rename and you, when you save it so what i'm going to do demo org rename so you need to retype okay there is no copy paste uh, the facility here so you need to type here and then you just save it okay successfully updated organization details so now your organization name is this one so this is the new organization name and the url is updated automatically so like that you can rename your organization okay okay now the second one is how to change the owner so you can change the owner for these organizations it means the owner will have the role and responsibility to control this organization and the whatever projects you have created under this organization this owner can control that okay. if you want to change the owner suppose someone is left the owner manager or the team lead is left to the organizations and in that case if you want to change the owner then you can select the change of owner and you can provide the owner name okay so you can select the new owner from here okay so once the work is done in for this organization so you want to delete this organization you can select the option the delete okay so when you click on the delete you can delete the organization easily from this option so this is the general overview okay now so this part is done we understood how to delete how to change the owner how to change the reason time zone privacy url and how to rename the organization so this i think we can control from under the overview sections now we want to check how many projects we have created for that okay. so when we have created the project the project will come here okay whatever projects we have created all the project we display here okay if you want to create the project directly here not from the uh, starting window then you can click on the new project and you can provide the project name description and the visibility okay in detail i will explain in the separate video about the project so like that you can select the private project or public project and then you can create so the project details will display here now users so for this organizations you need some users to be created yeah so uh, this is the one user for which we i have logged into this anjo devops and i have created the one organization using this user and if you want to add the more users for that so what you can do click on the add users and then you can xy and at the rate gmail.com so you can provide the gmail id now uh, you can select the access level basic stakeholder visual studio subscriber so i will select the basic and add to the project send email invites and then you can add it okay so the user will add it to here so one session notification so one user is added here okay successfully one user is added here so the user things under this organization you can control from here the group rules okay whatever group rules you can add the group rule assign the people create a new group rule basic project you can create a new group rule okay so all these settings you can control from here the extensions okay if you have installed any extensions you can check the extensions for this organization so all the extensions are really at the org level now this is the project level this is very important to know so if you want the any uh, extensions to be added here you can come here extensions part and then if you don't have any other you can browse the marketplace okay under the marketplace there are lots of the extensions are available okay suppose i am going to add this extension okay you can get it free
after that it will confirm the organization name for which organization you want this extension okay so we have the this organizations we have the three organization we need to select the right one and then you can start the installation for this organization okay so now proceed to the organization Okay, I'm going to this organization setting again, come to the extension part. Now you can see the one extension is installed for this organization. So like that, you can install the required plugins or you can see the extensions for this organization, security rules. So if you want to add the, some security rules here, so this is the manager rule we have. If you want the another, you can click on the add, you can add the user and manager if you want to make the another person as a manager you can add that one and it will be come here okay so like that you can add the security part here under the extensions and then permissions what are the what are all the permissions we have required for these organizations okay so if this organization don't have the administrator permissions you cannot create the project you cannot create the CICD pipelines, build, you cannot build your pipelines, okay? So you need the build related permissions, administrator related permissions here. So these are the permissions are there, okay? Then uh, what are the pipelines? So under the pipeline sections, we can check the agent pools. Okay. What are all the pools available for this organization? So by default for these organizations, we have the Azure pipelines and default Azure pipeline. These are Microsoft hosted Azure agent pool. So if you are not aware of the agent pools, you can watch the another video. I will provide the link in the description for the agent pools. Okay. And then we have the uh, pipeline related settings are there so all repository so if you want to control the repository for these organizations you can control here and the, the default branch name that for these organizations whatever git repository there you provide the master okay so this you can provide the master branch name is there so all your name, the branch name you can provide here. All the org related settings you can control here. Okay. So these are the project related settings. You should uh, uh, need to know while you are going to create one organization. So this is all about the organization. And now the second thing, each organization now, so this part is done, sign in your organization at any time with this part, org settings overview is done. Now, each organization gets its own free tire of the services. So when you created one organization, it always have the free tire of the services. Okay. You can use all these services. What are the services? Azure pipelines, Azure boards, Azure repos, and Azure artifacts. So Azure Pipelines, one hosted job with this minutes per month for the CICD and one self-hosted job. This is for the free tier. If you want the paid or the billing services, then you have the another services. So full services, if you want the full services, you need to pay for this one. But as of now, for the practice, you can use the free tier of the services. So these, these are the available, for the free tier of the services you can uh, read and understand on my screen okay so this is all about the organization part so if you have any doubt you just comment ping me i will provide the help or the answer of your questions okay thank you